What's going on, guys? I'm Ryan Roots. And I'm Ali Roots. And, and together, together we, we are Rally Roots. Roots. Ooh, you came in hot. That's a good one. Again, yes. <laughs> How's it going? Welcome to our YouTube channel. Welcome to our What Sold on eBay video series, where we show you all of the fake sales that we get on <laughs> eBay. <laughs> yep, we actually took a lot of time to Photoshop uh -huh. this. Neither of us can use Photoshop, so it took a lot of time, Long time. as you can imagine. And it looks perfect. Right. We also, yep. like, we got this warehouse, we paid for it. Yeah. And then we put all, all this fake inventory. No, I'm just kidding, guys. We're holograms. <laughs> Callie isn't real. She's also a hologram. <laughs> First of all, guys, thank you so much for the love and support on the video that I put out yesterday. That was really nice for you guys. It was nice to see that we do have a really nice tight-knit community around us that does love and support us. So we really appreciate that. Thank you very, very much. It really much. meant a lot to us, especially yeah. me when I was reading the comments. I was, you know, I was really taken aback by how much you guys care and how mad you are at this other person for <laughs> accusing us of something. So it meant a lot to me. So thank you so much. Rest assured, haters will not get us to stop making videos. We will continue to make these videos. And this is video number, I wanna say six in this series. And again, for those of you new to the channel, once a week we put out a video just like this showing you some of the sales that we've made on eBay from the previous week. So in this video, we're gonna show you 15 things that sold for us. <laughs> 15 things. <laughs> and we'll tell you how much we paid for them and how much they sold for on eBay. Without further ado, let's continue. I rhyme. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna do this one because Ryan probably doesn't wanna do this one. <laughs> this one is a lot of tampons. So we paid. We buy everything. Was, yeah, it was a really interesting. It was one of the pallet buys. Like a long time ago, Yeah, right? it came in yeah. a lot of other, we bought like a big wholesale lot of stuff and these were in there. Yep, so we paid $12 for them, sold for $36. Women know tampons are expensive. That was a really good deal. Yeah. The next item we'll show you that sold, guys, is a Space Jam, like, button-down shirt, jersey type thing. It was actually a retail arbitrage item. I picked it up at Ross for $10. It wasn't even on clearance or anything. Just picked it up for 10 bucks, And we bought a bunch of them. I think they've all almost sold now. There's one or two left. And paid $10 for them, and they're selling for us for $26.77. So not a huge profit mm -hmm. there, but to go walk into a retail store and buy something and then double your money on eBay is a pretty good deal. Yeah, there were no stains or holes, so it was easy for Callie to take a picture of yeah. front and back, throw in some measurements. It's a brand new item, it's from yeah, the store. exactly. <laughs> there better not be holes or anything. <laughs> well, sometimes at Ross, you know, always check. Yeah. We picked up these men's army combat boots for $8 and sold them for 50 bucks. Like, nice. hey guys, come on. Even though shipping's expensive, worth it. This was another item from one of our bulk buys. We got three of these nail guns. We paid $90 each for, for each one of them. So for three of them, we paid $270. And then one buyer bought all of them together on eBay and paid $630, which is great for us because we made money on it, but we also saved money on shipping. Are you making faces? And stuff? So amazing. <laughs> all the money. I'm just telling you guys information and Ali's making silly faces over here. <laughs> So yeah, that was a really good buy, guys, and, and we don't always share our bulk buys, but we wanted to share these ones with you as well. So those type of margins are rare for us. Usually we're lucky if we double our money on wholesale or bulk purchases, but in this case, $270 into $630 was a good buy. This vintage men's Tommy Hilfiger. Tommy! For, for your, your mommy! mommy. <laughs> <laughs> we paid $2.50 and sold it for 20 bucks. Nice. Kelly, your pictures are nice. Thanks. <laughs> so this is a Orvis brand men's shooting shirt. You can tell it's a shooting shirt because it'll have an extra padded area on one of the shoulders. So not on both of them, but on one of them. And that's for the butt of the gun to sit. So that when it shoots, it's a little bit of extra padding. Shooting shirts yeah. we've actually done really well on and Orvis mm -hmm. brand is a great brand to resell without it being a shooting shirt. So this one we did well on, we paid $3 for it and it sold for us for 32 bucks. So 10 times our money, that's great. I feel like the padding isn't thick enough for me. Boom. You know? <laughs> <I feel like laughs> that. This garage sale find was a Microsoft Zune. I never had one. <laughs> Zoom. <laughs> we paid five dollars for it sold it for 50 that was a really really good 
profit on that. Yeah, I think we had it, it listed amazing. for like almost $70, but because we only paid five bucks for it, when we get a best offer, that's 10 times our money, we'll accept the offer. Another one of the snapbacks sold from the huge lot that we got at the garage sale. It works out again to about 10 cents a hat is what we paid for these things. And they're just gradually selling. So this California Angels hat sold for us for $27.77. Again, 10 cents, $27. Really, really good buy there. It's probably still one of the greatest garage sale buys we've done. And we still have a bunch yeah. of hats left. <laughs> yep. We've had these True Religion jeans for a really long time. Yeah. And you kept marking the price down. We paid $5 for them. Mm -hmm. True Religion's always done really well for us, but I guess the flare leg, eh, it's not so hot right now. Yeah. So they only sold for $24.77, but five into the 25. It's really good. Still profit. Still profit. Fake profit. Fake. <laughs> <laughs> this is an interesting one. The This actually came in a bunch of other stuff that we bought. So technically we didn't pay anything for it. Mm -hmm. It was just with a bunch of other stuff. And instead of breaking it up into individual sales, we just lotted it together as one item and sold it. So we paid zero dollars for it. It's a lot of those little energizer batter. What do they go in cameras and stuff? They go in like garage door openers, keys. Metal detectors. <laughs> what do they go in? <laughs> they go in garage door openers. Airplane engines. Definitely airplane <laughs> engines, facts. Fake facts with rally roots. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so we paid nothing for them and they sold for $47.77. Mm -hmm. Oh, we got the question the other day, why have we changed our pricing from 0.88, so it used to be like 47.88 to 77, 47.77. We're kind of just experimenting with different numbers. We like the number seven, it's like a lucky number, so we thought we would throw it out there and see what happened with the sales. It's pretty much been the same, but I don't know. We thought we just tried something <laughs> different. <laughs> this t-shirt was another one of those t-shirt experiment items. We paid a dollar for it, which, one oh, dollar. And it sold Holla. for $21.77, nice. which is a really, yeah. really good profit. But if we weren't doing the t-shirt experiment, we would usually skip over t-shirts. So it was actually a really great sale. Yep. An interesting brand too, because Crooks and Castles usually isn't a $20 plus brand. It was just this particular design of the shirt for some reason was selling really well. So to get over $20 for that shirt is a really good, good price. Some Tommy Bahama for, for your, your mama. mama. <laughs> This is a really nice Tommy item, actually. I thought it was a, a good quality item. It's a hoodie, a zip up, full zip hoodie. We got it last week at Salvation Army, not on a half off day, but it was half off. So it was marked $6, we paid $3 for it after half off, and it sold very, very quickly for us for $27. How could we be so lucky? Cause it's fake. <laughs> Fake news. <laughs> the Salomon sneakers Salomon. were Salomon. Like a fish. Salomon. Salmon. Salmon. <laughs> Salomon sneakers were ten dollars, and they sold for thirty-nine dollars eighty-eight cents. Got them from a thrift store. Typically, we're nervous, you know, to pay ten bucks for a pair yeah. of shoes, and we'll I think wait we till half 10. off. But I yeah, I mean, 10. it's worth it for the thirty-nine eighty-eight, mm. and they're really colorful, guys. Look out for colorful sneakers. That's a really a good tip, actually. Mm -hmm. If you if you do see something that's a whole bunch of different crazy colors, usually it's going to sell well if you can get it cheap enough. I want crazy colored shoes. Get them. Done. I'm not stopping you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Picked up this vintage Everlast like bodybuilding muscle old 90s shirt basically it's like a crop top sweatshirt yeah right? it's like you see those guys working out on like muscle beach those old school bodybuilders you would expect them to wear something like this yes. or like the old school boxers as well ha 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 so paid two dollars for this item at salvation army a while ago and it sold for us for full price it sold for 27 dollars and 77 cents so if you if you've passed up on vintage everlast stuff before in the past Make sure that you buy it now because it does sell very well on eBay. And this wasn't even listed that long. Nope. Callie and I just recently took pictures and got this listed. Yeah. Yeah. What is that? It's a toaster. It is a toaster. When you see that, do you think Brave Little Toaster? Because that's what I think. Oh, that's so cute. No, I was actually <laughs> thinking of Battlestar Galactica. Oh. Yeah. Completely different. Because, you levels. know, the Cylons, they call them toasters. <laughs> oh. So I saw a toaster and I was like, gotcha. Battlestar, because the nerd in me. <laughs> Yes, I'm really nerdy, guys. If you didn't know that, I like nerdy things. Nerd. <laughs> this was from one of the appliance lots that we bought. So I think the last time we bought appliances, we got like 180 something units. So many. And this was part of that. 
And on average, we paid $16 a unit. That's why mm -hmm. the price of this one is set at 16 bucks. Right, and then it sold for $64.77. Yeah. So they didn't even best offer on that. No. They just bought it. Yeah. And those are from, like, when we do a bulk deal, we'll just buy a ton of stuff at once, and then it just sits in our warehouse, and when it sells, we make profit eventually, basically. So, you know, once we've made our money back on the buy, then everything else after that is pure profit for us. Yeah. Is the way that we look and at And then it. the K-Mix ones are worth even more. Yes. For some reason, yes. that line is just yeah. higher end. The color, the color ones are worth more, yeah. for sure. And there you go, guys. That is this week, Fake Sales with, with Rally Roots. <laughs> Just kidding, guys. Really hope you enjoyed this series. If you did like this series, if you like seeing the kind of stuff that we buy and the kind of stuff that is selling for us, please give the video two thumbs up. Double thumbs up. And be sure to subscribe to our channel. The reason we're even making these videos to begin with is so that you guys can see the types of items that sell for us throughout the year. And we buy a very wide range of different items so you can see the you know different kind of things that are selling for us. We don't only sell t-shirts, we don't only sell shoes, we pretty much will sell everything that we can make money on. So these videos you should be able to get some really good bolos out of. You know how I like, like to be <laughs> you know how I like to see these videos as whenever you watch like a home re remodel show, okay. right? The before and the after. This, the before we go garage selling and these are the items we have and then the aftermath like we've sold them this is how much they sold that's for true. look at our sales that's it's how like i see when they it. pushed like the old picture of the old house and then yeah it's fine <laughs> right and we're like this is what we were trying to sell and this is there what we've sold yeah and these are our profits so nice. and people get to see the the con yeah the continuity of you know, the this is us finding the items and then we're listing the item and then this is the final product. It's, it's the almost, money in the bank. It, it's almost like it's real. <laughs> oh, <laughs> really, really fake. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. All right, guys, that's it for us this week. Thank you so much for hanging out with us again. Hit the thumbs up, please subscribe, and we will see you on the next video. I'm Ryan Roots. I'm Iris. And, and together, together we, we are Rally Roots. Roots. Did you like that? I broke my I finger. I hope you heard that. <laughs> I hope the mic picked that up. See you guys later. Peace out. Bye.